Alright, so now the game mu music might be too low. If not, if anything, I'll figure out how to boost it. We're gonna go ahead and start this. I'm gonna do this playthrough. I'm starting with the PlayStation 1 version of Metal Gear Solid, not the remake. I will be talking, of course, but I will stop whenever there is actual talking going on. I'm not very good at this game, so I'm not going into it on hard. I will go into it on normal, and I'm probably still going to die a bunch of times. Metal Gear Solid, probably since I played this one, has been one of my favorite series just due to the story itself and not nothing more. I'm not very good with these kind of games, but the story I like a lot. And I technically should be playing three. Alright, I'm gonna hang on here. There should be some talking coming up. clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Alright, so anyways. Technically, the third game is the actual first game, but I'm going in the order that the games have been released. And I'm only doing the main story. I don't think I'm going to do Revengeance. I'm still debating on 5, because 5 wasn't done by Kojima, really, it's just based off his characters. What are you doing there, buddy? Ah. Watch the water. Nothing there. All right. Make sure it's buttons the grab button to choke people out. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Also, I'm not going to be using the. Uh, I don't know. Better go check it out. Hmm. Ah, shit! Well, I'm already dead. Because I screwed up. I didn't realize he's going to come running away back over here. It's been a long time since I played, since I played this. Like I said, I'm not very good. And it's gonna take me a bit to get into the groove of everything. There's blue cones you can see up there in the map in the corner. That's their vision. Ooh.
So we definitely got to be careful of that. So that's how you get in that cone, that line of vision, you're done. So which way are you going? I'm mainly just killing time because I'm waiting for the elevator to come back. I don't have to do it this way. I just choose to. Need to hide in case somebody comes. Oh, you shithead. <laughs> Everything's going all slow all of a sudden. The lag is real. Don't mind me. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Woo. That was close. All right, so we got through the first part. Now we're into Shadow Moses. Now, game one for Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, I will be doing the HD collection for that. Not sure if I said, but for these recordings, I will not be using my face cam. Just so you can see the full game and don't have to have my... My face taking away from the experience. Here comes the fun stuff. Genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F 16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Oh, little Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing? Huh? 
Now is your best chance to die. hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. Okay. You can do that. The white dot in cause... the middle is you, Snake. The red yes, dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Yes, Be ma careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their oh. gene therapy. Make sure yes, ma'am. Don't let them see you. Okay, ma'am. I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. Fuck that dude. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, You're an asshole. it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Oh, I will. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. Anyway, <laughs> sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. Bitch, it calms my nerves! If you want to get in, there's the front door. Yeah, how about it's not? the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. Watch where you're pointing that thing. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Count on the wrong person, I'll tell you that much. Alright, there was a guy standing out in front of here. Where the hell did he go? Just 
guy blocking the thing, which he's asleep, I believe. I gotta watch out for the lights in the center. And I got to... There's a truck. I have to get into. To get a gun. Not sure if that's on the outside or the inside. Huh? Who footsteps are used? I gotta watch out for that camera. Alright, let's go back over this way. Let me get a better look at my surroundings here. I guess the camera would be the best for that. So that way I can look first person view. Yeah, there's a guy there. There's a guy up top walking around. Can't even remember how to zoom this in. Oh, there we go. Then there's the guy that's over there standing in front of the vent, which I don't think I'm going to be able to see because that thing's in my way. The guy in front of that vent is probably sleeping. Um, nope. I wanted to go here so I can see where that dude was. I don't want to run across that and have him looking at that direction. And I need to go... Um, <gasps> fuck. No. Sleepy time. I was trying to avoid getting caught by that light to get over here. There's a camera. So I gotta be careful of that as well. I have no weapon. I got some chaff grenades I can use on the saddle hole. So I think I took out everybody that was down here. Radar's jammed. Surveillance cam. I don't think he'll see me back here. I think I've hid back here before. I just 
gotta be quick on the uptake to grab a hold of his ass once he walks away. Nothing to see here. Was me. You see nothing. Hello. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? Yay, McDonald Miller. on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Are you well, sure about that? I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Sure. I will never call you because I don't think I ever do. I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Hmm. The cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. <laughs> He's stealth too. That's right. There's an intruder besides me. Anyway, oh, I want you to increase yeah. the security detail on the chief. Nothing to see here. Um, there's a camera. Can't see nothing from that one. Keep going. I don't want to go out. I want to get that ration. Don't suck it. I need this ration. Cause you know that's possible. I'm gonna get caught. Here's where the fun begins of me dying over and over again. What? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Suck a dick, Campbell. There should be a cargo elevator. You know. Somewhere around there. Get off the wall. My god, Snake, if you get me caught, me and you are going to fight.
Oh yeah. Now I got me a weapon. I mean, really, you're supposed to be crawling all around here. So you don't get caught. Oh! Nothing to see here! Whoops! Nothing to see here! going on there, buddy? I want to get out far enough that I can see my fucking shit. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Wait, did I even need to come down here? I can't remember... If I did or not. There's that dude. I don't think I'm supposed to come down here. I feel like this elevator was up here. Or something. You dick. Ow. Maybe it was down below. Ah, oh, there it is. Perpeter. 
So I was on the right floor earlier. I'm just an idiot. Nothing to see here. Don't man don't mind the man in the elevator. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DAPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. That's easier said than done there, May Lane. I just want to say, bitch. Come on, Snake, you can do it. Ye of a lot of faith on a guy who has no chance. I guess that's what you want to call that. I don't remember if I need to go to B2 first, or if I can just... That leads me to the good old DARPA chief. So I'm gonna go this way. Cause get them rounds and uh or whatever they are. There's some way of looking up and down. There it is, like a triangle. Oh, cut it, damn cold. I hate Alaska. Poor Johnny. Oh, that woman's built all right. Okay, if you're unaware, that guy's name's Johnny. He... Seems like he's always sick. 
You don't find out until later games that his name that it's, his name's Johnny. Is that a woman? Not him. Good snake. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. Really, chief. I would have never guessed. Classified. We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Oh yeah. Metal gear. Metal gear. in there, will you?
Faker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Arms Team, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay. Three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here. Take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pad card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? The Pentagon? What is it? Chief, what happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. A heart attack. Face down, ass up. You killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <laughs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. You got rookie eyes. eyes. If I ever saw them, you've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. 
store. You've got a car, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! Now. Did you drop me anything? Nope. You bitches. Dead ass. Thanks for the help. Wait. Who are you? Close up of that. Yes. You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Fun times. Nothing like wasting ammo, bitch. <laughs> Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to save it here. We're going to leave off here, maybe. And I'll pick this episode back up in the next video. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are enjoying Metal Gear Solid. If you haven't actually seen the first game before or played it. It has a really good story. All these games have a very good story that all tie together very well. Hideo Kojima is a very good with stories, especially these. Snake, listen to what Lo T said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. All right, thank you, Mailing, for that uh, helpful information. But tune in for the next video if you guys are enjoying this let me know leave some comments things of that nature share with your friends i'm out peace